What happened to our planet after the dinosaurs' demise? The extinction event over 66 million years ago profoundly impacted the Earth's ecosystems and set the stage for the development of the world as we know it today. But what happened next? Welcome to our video about the aftermath of the dinosaur extinction event that changed the face of the Earth forever. I'm sure most of us have learned in school the extinction of the dinosaurs was caused by a massive asteroid impact. But what happened after that? The asteroid impact caused instantaneous destruction in the immediate vicinity. Still, the secondary effects of the crash resulted in the end of the Mesozoic Era and the beginning of the Cenozoic Era. This video will dive deep into the Mesozoic Cenozoic boundary and the next pivotal moments, from the long term consequences for the planet's climate to the new species that evolved, we'll explore the incredible story of what Earth was like after dinosaurs. If you find this topic as fascinating as we do, please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this. Let's get started! A falling asteroid. When the asteroid crashed into Earth, it wasn't just a minor fender bender. The force of the impact was like a cosmic sledgehammer smashing into our planet with a gargantuan amount of energy. The sheer amount of material launched into the air is difficult to comprehend. It traveled miles and miles, causing massive disruptions to the planet's atmosphere. But that wasn't all. The asteroid's impact was so intense that it even slightly altered Earth's orbit around the Sun. According to Paul Barrett, a paleontologist at the Natural History Museum, the asteroid hit at a tremendous velocity, effectively vaporizing and leaving a giant crater in its wake. The immediate aftermath was one of total devastation. Massive blast and heat waves traveled out from the impact site, throwing vast amounts of material into the atmosphere. This material included soot, which traveled worldwide and reduced the amount of light that reached the Earth's surface. As a result, plant growth was severely impacted, leading to widespread plant death all over the planet. However, the big mystery is how the rest of the creatures on Earth perished. Despite the asteroid's incredible force, many scientists don't believe it would have had the power to instantly kill 75% of the world's species, ranging from microorganisms to dinosaurs. This has led to much debate and discussion in the scientific community, with various theories being proposed about how the rest of the creatures met their fate. The asteroid's impact site is known as the Chick-fil-A Crater in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The asteroid was estimated to be 10 to 15 kilometers, while the hole it created was over 150 kilometers in diameter. The impact caused massive tidal waves and fires all over the planet, along with some long-term changes that were only exacerbated by the impact. After the asteroid fell, as if the impact of the asteroid on Earth wasn't catastrophic enough, it also triggered a series of long-term changes that would have lasting effects on the planet. The tidal waves and fires that spread across the Earth were just the beginning. The continents, which had already been slowly drifting apart, were greatly aided in this process by the asteroid's impact. The continents of South and North America decided to have a little rendezvous. They collided with each other, causing a rapid rise of rocks. And it gets better! The Isthmus of Panama cut the strait between these two continents, which blocked the passage of warm ocean waters. With the Rocky Mountains considerably gaining height, it formed a barrier between the Atlantic and Pacific air currents. All these factors combined caused the Earth to gradually cool down and some parts grew to be ice-bound. It was like Earth decided to take a chill pill and relax a bit. The North Pole was gripped with an ice shield and Greenland started to build up tons of ice caps. This also caused an increase in volcanic activity which further darkened the sky with volcanic ash. The greenhouse gases expelled by these volcanoes resulted in a dramatic global climate shift, leading to what many people call an impact winter. This was not a full-on ice age, but a period of tens to hundreds of years in which the Earth's climate was thrown off. It was thrown off to such a significant degree that it caused the widespread die-off. However, life finds a way. 
Despite the devastation caused by the impact of winter, the ecosystem around the Chick-fil-A crater began to recover at a surprising rate. In fact, upon conducting research on the physical landscape of the crater, scientists eventually formed what is known as the impact origin of life hypothesis. This theory suggests that asteroid strikes provide a massive jolt of energy that stirs up biochemistry, kick-starting the creation process of living things. So, while the asteroid's impact is undoubtedly a catastrophic event, it's interesting to consider the possibility that it may have played a role in the origin of life itself. The Impact's Origin of Life According to the Impact Origin of Life hypothesis, the asteroid's impact would have created circulating hot water systems, which would have fostered a primitive form of life similar to what was present at the beginning of life on Earth. This theory has since been applied to many other planets seen throughout the universe, suggesting that they may have been fostering their own primitive forms of life that we haven't been able to observe yet. Astrobiologist Charles Cockle at the University of Edinburgh has recorded that the whole early planet could have been a gigantic prebiotic reactor. Impacts generate a complete set of experiments producing lots of organic material. At some point, a self-replicating molecule emerged. Based on these studies, geneticists have deduced that the earliest common ancestor to all organisms in the world may have been a hypothermophile, meaning a microorganism that thrived in immense heat. While this idea has yet to gain widespread acceptance, it has gained daily traction. Following the extinction of the dinosaurs, flowering plants began to dominate the planet, carrying on the process that had already started early in the Cretaceous period. Although all land animals over 25 kilograms were wiped out, the Earth was effectively left with the seeds of what is present today regarding plants and animals. The lines present today directly represent their ancestors who survived the asteroid blast. It's fascinating to consider how drastically the planet changed following the extinction of the dinosaurs and how life found a way to adapt and evolve. The Turning Point The extinction of the dinosaurs was a significant turning point for Earth, and it wasn't just the dinosaurs that felt the impact. The asteroid hit the planet with force so powerful that it vaporized and created a crater over 150 kilometers in diameter. The immediate aftermath was total devastation with a blast wave, heat wave, and material thrown into the atmosphere. The impact caused massive tidal waves and substantial fires, leading to the death of plants and wiping out all land animals over 25 kilograms. But despite the destruction, life found a way. Smaller animals were better equipped to survive and diversify, and large mammals began to appear around 15 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. The Earth's continents continued to separate, leading to diversification and evolution into new species. The surviving plants and animals carried on the process that had started early in the Cretaceous period, fostering further change and leading to the diverse range of species today. Interestingly, the impact also had an unexpected outcome, creating circulating hot water systems that fostered a primitive life form. This hypothesis has since been applied to many other planets, and they may have been cultivating their own primitive forms of life. While the idea has yet to gain widespread acceptance, it has gained daily traction. The post-dinosaur world was violent and tumultuous, and some animals gradually died off. But for those that survived, it was a chance to evolve and reach the top of the food chain. And so, life on Earth continued to grow and adapt, shaped by the cataclysmic event that wiped out the dinosaurs. Birds and scaly behemoths After the asteroid impact, birds emerged as the only surviving members of the dinosaur family. But don't let that fool you! Crocodiles and alligators, the scaly behemoths of the swamps, also managed to make it through the apocalypse. Meanwhile, their scaly cousins, lizards, snakes, and other distant relatives of dinosaurs were able to survive thanks to their small size and ability to eat almost anything. Interestingly, the massive shift in vegetation following the dinosaurs' extinction made it easier for mammals to thrive even if the dinosaurs had somehow managed to survive. Introducing flowering plants meant forests were more conducive to mammal life than the enormous dinosaurs that had previously roamed the Earth. It's incredible to think that the dinosaurs ruled the Earth for nearly 200 million years, while humans have only been around for a fraction of that time. 
Yet, in just a few hundred thousand years, humans have made significant strides in technology and innovation. We've created agriculture, built cities, and even harnessed the power of electricity and the internet. Ultimately, the extinction of the dinosaurs was a tragedy. Still, it also paved the way for the evolution and success of humanity. If the dinosaurs had persisted, it's unlikely that humans would have emerged as the dominant species on the planet. So, while we mourn the loss of the mighty beasts that once roamed the Earth, we can also appreciate the incredible journey that led to the rise of humanity.